Well, good day, everybody. Steve from Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring with another spot on our campgrounds. Now, on this occasion, I found a campground, but I didn't know existed. So you're seeing it like I'm seeing it. I've literally come across this one. It's called Teamsters Rest Camp Area. It's in a spot somewhere in Murrurundi region. It's, uh, I don't exactly know where, to be honest, but um, I'll put the coordinates and all that stuff in, of course. I think it's about 30 k's outside of Nundal, but uh, I'm not 100% sure, so we'll, we'll work all that out. I'll give you a look at it. Okay, now this is not, not a big campground. I'm here on a Saturday and there's nobody here, but it is winter. And where you saw the car parked is about the end of it. And as you can see, there's a fence line off in front. So you can't go beyond that. This is Crown land. But you can camp here. There's a bin. Obviously, if it's full, take your gear with you. There's picnic tables. And there's fire pits or fire places. I don't think you'd call them pits, would you? But uh, they're there. Now the ground's a little bit soft here at the moment, but I dare say there's been a bit of rain lately. But it's flat, or well, mostly flat. It's grassy. It has a toilet block, which I'm gonna assume, or it'll have to be, a pit. We'll go and have a look at it. Because I, like you, know nothing about it. So, we'll have a look. Like I said, there's nobody here. So I'm not gonna invade anybody, am I? All right, in we go. It's a windy loo. Please leave door open after use. Well, I'm not gonna shine the camera down in there, because why would I? It's a toilet, but it's stainless steel. Bog rolls are on hand. See how good is that? And they like the door to be left open when you're not in there. So, there you go. Down some stairs again. All is fine. So, yeah, the toilet facilities are very good. Another fireplace. This one's got a fire pit. So, you can uh, do your normal fire stuff there. So that's pretty cool. There's signs of where other bins were. There's only one here that I can see. So, the road to drive in here is all dirt. Now I'm driving out to the Nundle end. I came in from the other end actually. So I don't know what the road is like between Nundle and here, but the road from the Musselbrook end was dirt. There's warning signs on the road that say it's very, very slippery four-wheel drive only, and don't drive it at all if it's wet. So but bear that in mind. So coming from the south, four-wheel drive only. Coming from Nundle, probably the same. When I edit this, guys, if it can have road cars and stuff, when I find out more info, I'll put that in. In fact, you will have seen it if you can have other cars here. Now, this is supposedly a bird watching area from what I could see on the signs. So, Go and watch your birds. There's your last fireplace. And down here, we have a little creek. 
So we're gonna have a look at that. I've seen no signs of litter here, guys, so that's good. So there's a little freshwater creek here. I'll try and get down here without going ass up. But it certainly looks very, very nice. Speaking of looking nice, there's Kaz. She always looks nice, doesn't she, guys? And there's the river that way. So that's, that's pretty specky. It's very, very shallow at our time of visiting. No idea about whether you could fish it or not. But it's, this is certainly in the middle of nowhere. So um, if you want remote, I reckon you've got it. Or well, remote for New South Wales bush anyway. Like I said, this is Crown Land, so my belief is it's free. But if it's not free, I would have already put that up for you too. So uh, <laughs> I'm already telling you things I've already put up on the screen, guys, so I'm probably not being very helpful in that regard. Like I said though, not a big campground at all, but a cool little find out in the Tamworth Shire Council area, or Tamworth Shire. It's not far from Nundle. Completely uninhabited on a Saturday. It's 11 o'clock. But like I said, it's winter. What is there to do here? No idea, guys. Bird watching, if you believe the signs. So I'd go, this is a relaxing one. So with that in mind, there's probably not a vast amount, I can tell you. I think I'm getting a bit too much sun on me there, guys, I think. I might be all right. So I'm going to leave it at that on this one. Teamsters Rest Camping Area, not far from Nundle. You'd have seen all the coordinates. My guess, this is the place to come if you just want to burn your own in the bush. They still have some facilities. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this one, guys. If you did, you know the story, put a like on it, helps the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click the notification bell, you'll know when a new clip comes up. And of course, to the old hands, as always, thanks very much for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my clips. I really do appreciate the support, guys. You've got no idea how much I uh, I like the fact you guys are willing to take the time to watch what I do. Anyway, Kaz is wandering around, but she's probably having near the car, so I won't get her over here to say goodbye. But uh, like I said, thanks again. Just get out there, enjoy the bush. Get out here, maybe enjoy this one. If you do come here after my recommendation, let me know, I'd be curious. Oh, uh, uh, just be nice to know that somebody came here because I, I said it was half reasonable. But if you don't, it doesn't matter. Hey guys, I'm rabbiting on for no really good reason at all. So I'll get out of here. All the best, just get out there, enjoy the bush, be good to each other, and we will see you next time. Cheers from Steve and Kaz at Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring. All the best guys. Like I said, a bit muddy today. <laughs> I wouldn't be coming in here after the rain. <laughs>